Hey DJ, welcome to the last lecture of this section. Now, I want to explain you something that comes from the music production world. The trick I'm going to explain you is all about the aesthetic of sound when using your effects. Basically, when you're using a reverb or a delay, I strongly suggest you to filter out all the bass frequencies from your signal. Let's take an example the reverb. Let's try to listen to the track with the only reverb applied and let's focus on the rumble you will hear on the bass frequencies area. So, the problem is evident. And if you are playing on a big sound system, this problem will kill your sound. But we can easily avoid this undesired rumble by simply using a filter effect. So let's load the filter by pressing the arrow on the first slot and let's select filter from the menu. The knob on the filter controls the cutoff frequency. With the knob exactly in the middle, the filter will not filter the sound. While if we turn the knob clockwise, we will obtain a high pass filter where all the bass frequencies will be cut out. Let's listen. On the other hand, if we turn the knob counterclockwise, we will obtain a low pass filter where all high frequencies will be cut out. So, what we want to do here is to cut the bass frequencies before the reverb. Our effect chain will be filter at first, then reverb, and why not a delay or whatever you want. In this way, the reverb and all the other effects will process a signal already filtered and the rumble we heard before will magically disappear. Now try yourself and when ready, we can safely move on to the section recap. <laughs>